So my poor sister must have been cooking blind last night. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Hello, my name is Sophia and I'm excited to try a few isbarisku dahkaris that different sisters have done and rate it and I will enjoy it, I'm sure, because I love rice. Baris iskakaris is, is baris, it's rice basically. It is a traditional Somali meal. We put a lot of flavours into it. You're going to put tomatoes, you're going to put onions, you're going to put peppers, you're going to put coriander, garlic, cumin powder, paprika, hawad, which is like cumin mixed with some like peppercorn. You can have chicken in, in there, you could have your lamb in there. It's closer to a, a biryani rice for those who want something that they might be familiar with. Just essentially rice mixed in with lots of herbs and sauce. But everyone cooks it differently. Some people have more of the sauce at the bottom and they have the rice that's already flavoured at the top so you get your meat and stuff at the bottom. Some people do it all and then they add water when they've done the sauce and they put the rice, it all cooks together. I'm not a Somali if I don't mention this. You need your banana with it. So you have to have your banana with your rice and if you don't have that then it's not a special occasion. Really, really looking forward to this because I feel like I'm just going to breeze this one. Yay. Bismillah. What makes my dish really, really good is there's not much oil in there, vegetables in there, and I have all the special spices that my mother taught me, and also a place that I volunteer, which is called Hoya East. My auntie that cooks there, wallahi, mashallah. You get a bit of skills here and a bit of experience there. As long as you get your spices right, and you have your meat in there as well, and you have your banana, you're okay. Oh, let me see what my competition is. Oh, this looks very, very nice. It smells lovely. It's very red, so I'm assuming she put in either food colouring or maybe perhaps paprika, and also tomatoes as well. It's got the, the meat there. And I like the fact that she has crispy onions. Looks like a Somali, but it's good. If we look at the rice element, yes, definitely traditional, but if we look at the vegetables, we never put in courgette in our Somali rice, that's the truth. That's, that's nice. I, oh God. I'm not even hating. This is delicious. It's still chewy. It's nice. It's not soft. This is really still fluffy. It's crunchy. This is, oh my God, this is nice. It's very tasty, but it tastes more like tomatoey. And I think that's because her base was heavily tomato. Got to try the meat, right? Let me just get in there. The meat is really nice. The, the meat, it's just a bit bland. Yeah. It has no flavour. Yeah. I guess I wouldn't consider this to be your typical Somali rice, but just because of the vegetables. So I would rate this overall a seven out of ten. Oh my god, because of the because of the meat, I think I'd go for seven. But honestly, very good. I make mine with lamb chops, onions, put chopped tomato in there, all of my seasoning, chilli, everything. And then I cook this the rice separately and then I put it on top afterwards, mix it a little bit at the top and then I put it in the oven and that's my version of baris kudakaris. I'm famous for this baris, like this baris kudakaris of mine is known, like it's well known. Wow, that does look good. I can see the pieces. She used basmati rice, which is ideal. It's also got the meat in there. Oh, she's ticked by boxes here. It looks very much like biryani almost. In biryani, we have, you have like the patches of whiteness and, and the patches of colourness coming in. So yeah, it reminds me of that. You know what I like about it? It's really fluffy. She's got the bit with the extra sauces, but she's still got the fluffy. And she definitely didn't overcook it. As soon as you walked in actually towards me, I could smell the herbs and spices. She's used some good spices here. That's nice. That is wallahi, very, very nice. Not too much salt, lovely spices, just the banana missing. But it's okay, next time BuzzFeed will bring bananas for us. I think the flavours is, I'm definitely feeling like biryani type of vibe. It's very like spicy and warm and it's very tasty, so yeah, good job.
Let me try the meat now, because you know, like Somalis in their meat, you know. Even the meat, like, mashallah, she t it's not hard, it's nice and soft, it's not too dry. My mother would say, Faridat, good girl, a very good girl. Whoever did this is very good, mashallah. This will be eight. Yeah, eight out of ten, yeah, 100%. Just because it's less tomato-y and it's more cumin, so it's a little bit more like your traditional Somali. I would say this is probably better than mine. I'm not going to lie to you. I, you know what, as a woman, sometimes you have to say it how it is. I would say definitely this one's like a nine. Ooh. Honestly, I, if I could give it temp, I'm one of those people that you, there's always something better. But wallahi, this is very nice. You just give me a moment, I'm just going to... Any leftovers, I'm happy to take this one home. I guess perhaps my one would be a little bit more rich. I took the chicken stock flavour that, that was coming out from a roast that I was making like four days ago. I left it in the fridge and I used that to kind of merge it into my rice. And then I added cumin powder, so it's very tasty. And I'm very proud of it as well. Ah. Ooh, okay. No hilib? There's no meat in there, I'm looking for the meat, I'm like, mm. She might have cooked it in there, because a lot of people cook it in there and they just take the meat out because you've still got the flavour. It's more yellow. Someone went overboard with the turmeric. The rice, I'll be honest with you, it's not too soft. You could see each rice as it falls, so that, that's really good. No, this is... Um... Would you like a tissue? Yes, please. Oh my God, what is that? It's different. There's a flavour to it that I can't put my hands on it. Is it vinegar in there? It's definitely got a little bit more oil than the other one. Can you see when I move it like that, you can see all the oil. So my poor sister must have been cooking blind last night when she was cooking in the dark. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I mean, It's not bad at all. This is really good. Maybe not the level of the other one, I would say. I would easily rate this as six. What do you think I'm going to rate that? Overboard turmeric, no meat. That's a solid one. Yeah. Have you got water, guys? Seriously, yeah, have you yeah, got... Yeah. Am I being harsh? I mean, what were we expecting? I knew I was going to win. I just would like to say thank you to my mum that's always helped me cook, my grandmother, my family, my friends. I just knew I had it in me. I am a chef. I don't like to brag, but yeah, it was going to happen. It was going to happen. Cheers. Thank you. I'm very disappointed, but um, I guess something for me to learn and yeah. Listen, I am known for some few dishes and maybe my rice could improve. I definitely know what a really good rice could be. I need to go back to Hoya East and the auntie and get her to teach me more dishes.